Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be setting up uh, the car a little bit more. We're actually going to do a little bit of corner balancing uh, with a set of scales. A good friend of mine has a set of these uh, Long Acre Compu Scales. We're going to take each one of these pads, we're going to put it underneath each one of the tires. We're then going to see how much the car weighs as well as how much each tire is actually pushing down on each one of these. And then of course we're going to make some adjustments to the suspension, hopefully getting the cars close to a 50-50 weight balance, you know, diagonal corners, maybe left to right. I doubt front to back, but a couple things that we're going to try to do today anyway, to at least get the car better than what uh, what it was before. I have recently made a spring change, so right now it's just kind of mocked up. I put the springs on the car with uh, just basically using a tape measure, just measuring them out, making sure they're all equal, roughly what they were before. They've been installed on the car. The next step is going to be to put up the scales, get the car set up, make sure that the car is race ready. I mean, I will be doing this with me in the car, making sure that all the balance is going to be set up the same way that you would typically race a car. Uh, a couple things we are going to have to kind of fudge just a little bit. Um, for one, uh, you need to do this uh, completely race ready, meaning all of the fluids need to be topped off, tire pressure needs to be set. All of the things like if you were just pulling up onto the grid exactly the way that it should be. Now, since uh, you know we're recently coming out of winter here in Colorado, the car doesn't have any fuel in it. So I'm gonna have to fudge that just a little bit. And of course, I'll show you a neat little technique for doing that here in a minute. But stay tuned, we're gonna get it started. We're gonna get the car prepped, get the scale set up. We'll do a first set down, see what the car weighs. Of course, the jack is just kind of sitting under here. It's not really doing anything. Oops, sorry, got some camera junk in the way there. But it's sitting on the pads. It's uh, it's sitting nice and flat. Everything's good. This is first stab at it, and really, I mean, not bad. Um, to be quite honest with you, I'm pretty pleased with that. Right from the get-go, that's not too bad at all. It looks to me like it's a little bit left leg rear and right leg front like those are down just a little bit so we can either you know remove a bit of the uh the spring tension on those or we can you know raise the right height on the left front and the right rear which i believe what i'm going to do because i think the uh the, the right rear um is actually set up pretty good in fact i think the rear height is about what i want so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just lower that front just a smidge and we'll see how she sits All right, so this next part is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, really, all that we need to do is take the body of the shock, okay, um, and physically move this up from the knuckle of the McPherson strut, right, the McPherson strut body that bolts to the knuckle, right? This part needs to come up. So the, what we need to do is we need to loosen this collar, and then we're going to unscrew this guy. Since it has a pillow ball mount on the top, we can unscrew it, thus making the entire assembly longer. So let's give that a go. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, nope, actually that's the wrong way. We want to go the other way. Yeah, we want to go this way. There we go. So now we got that guy loose. Hopefully my arm wasn't in the way there. Okay, and here's kind of another neat little trick too. Since you are going to be turning it from these other ones here, I always like to, instead of trying to use a Sharpie or mark it or you know who knows what this actually works as a really good little marking device if you can just just get it to where it's not going to grab it as you turn it and that way when you get in here you got to turn this guy oh there's my other camera going crazy we can actually go like this right and i'm not real sure this is the whole trial and error thing, right? I mean, yes, you can figure it out and you can actually, you can do some neat calculations here. You can do a full rotation, see how much weight it is. And then of course you can adjust it. Um, and then you also have kind of a scale for that. But for this one, I'm just going to want to make a couple of changes, adjust out that weight 
and then of course, uh, you know, see, basically rinse and repeat. We just want to measure it again, see where the weight sits, go and do it, do it again, do it again, do it again. All right, so I will button this guy up, and then we'll go and see what she weighs. And I will sit very still. Can you get it? Got it? Great. All right, we'll shut this off while I climb out. <laughs> so, well, there you have it there, guys. So, uh, obviously wasn't able to look at the scale while I was in the car. That's why you saw uh, my daughter taking pictures there. So she was helping me out with this. That was great. She could just simply take a picture of this thing. And I'm sure you guys, I'll flash this up on the screen, but that's what I'm looking at right now. So, um, with me in the car, left front, 1,016, right front, uh, 1,017. That's fantastic with the car being so heavy on the front end um, i think that's right about where we need to be uh grand total 3346 um, i did end up putting um, another 10 gallons of ethanol into it uh, i thought about maybe filling up some water jugs putting them in the back but the gas tank has kind of an odd shape i really wanted to make sure that we kind of you know captured that i mean of course we're not accounting for fuel slosh or any of that other stuff but we'll do the best we possibly can uh, needless to say we got a few things uh, a few things that we can look at um, as huge benefits here you know for instance uh, I'll pop this up on the screen for you guys too but uh, you know 3160 uh, is about what the car weighs without me in it um, I think that's pretty good I mean considering the car's all-wheel drive it's caged uh, everything's in here you know giant brakes I mean obviously going 14 inch rotors they're a little bit heavier but uh, overall I'm pleased I like the way the car is set up right now uh, I'm gonna take it out to the track we're gonna see how this thing does and um, you know ultimately get back to you on that but uh, thanks for watching guys if you like the channel of course you're always welcome to subscribe and hang out but uh, see ya